So on this trip, we got to learn two very valuable things. I would say they're probably the first things I've kind of learned with trying to shoot landscape and woodland photography. It was a very good learning experience for me, and I wanted to share that with you. So stick around. We're going to jump right into our adventure. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Photo Zoo. If this is your first time uh, joining us, my name is Shane. If you're not familiar with the Photo Zoo, it's a place where we are learning to do landscape and woodland photography, all things photography. We're just starting out, we're learning together, and we'd love for you to join us. In this video, we actually captured one of my first trips out trying to do a little bit of landscape and woodland photography. We shot it back in November of 2018, so a few months ago. So you should see some fall colors. Uh, this is actually probably September. Considering this is one of the first videos we're doing on the PhotoZoo channel, uh, it is one of the first times we've actually gone out and took uh, done photography out in the field and had to uh, video and record everything. Uh, so there are a lot of logistics we didn't think about. We hadn't got it worked out, but uh, the last two or three trips have been great and we've learned a lot. So for the first two or three videos, you might not see as much B-roll, you might not see as much storytelling. I'll probably talk us through a lot of the trips. After that, you should see some great improvement in the production quality of the video. So I, I apologize, but you should see the quality improving more and more as we get out and get practiced in it. So that's that's part of the photo zoo is actually learning the photography and, and learning the videography. So I'll probably be sharing uh, both on this channel. So I made it out here. I made it in time. Uh, I'm at a local reserve close to where I live. So this morning uh, I was trying to get to a particular spot I scouted out a few days ago. The clouds are kind of hidden the sun a little bit right now. But I got here just in time for the uh, sunrise. Uh, there's two places I'm trying to capture. One is this tree over here, I really just like the composition of this huge, beautiful tree by itself. Looks really nice, uh, especially if I can get the sun rays hitting it down from the left side. That was my goal this morning. I don't know if I got that or not, but, but maybe we'll see. Check out this tree. So as you can tell, I'm in the suburbs. I'm starting out with my videos uh, close to home. We're gonna slowly work our way out. Um, I did travel to the Ozarks a few weekend, weekends ago to uh, start this video, but I had a little accident uh, or rather to start this channel, but that was a fun adventure. Just had a little accident, couldn't video. So I figured I'd better start with baby steps, start hiking around close to where I live, slowly work my way out. Um, of course, I'm no expert. I'm just now starting to learn. Uh, it's fun learning and most important, I'm getting great exercise getting off that couch so looking forward to it great stress relief man it's just it's beautiful out here this morning i'm also trying to catch this sunset right over here um again these clouds are just killing me i think when it when the sun pokes through though it's going to be beautiful check it out so i am using my Canon 1DX2, 70 to 200 lens, got a graduated filter on it. Hopefully I'll get a pretty shot here in a minute. Ooh, the clouds behind this tree is looking good. I may have to swap to that. So in this last scene, I'm actually uh, taking time to move my camera around and get set up for the second composition. Now the second composition is actually one of the reasons I'm out in uh, this particular preserve, nature preserve. So I'd gone out probably a week before uh, to this nature preserve, um, hoping to capture uh, pictures to share with you. And I just, you know, randomly picked a time during the day, took off and just started walking the nature preserve. So I happened upon this particular tree. I really love the, the outline of this tree and how large it is. So this tree was, uh, pretty beautiful to me. So I did take a picture of it. 
uh, on that first outing. And one of the things I realized in that outing was, you know, as I look at the picture, it just wasn't, it was okay. It wasn't great. It could be better. It was just okay. So one of the things that I thought about and, and learned from that trip was you've got to scout. I usually go to a particular place first, not with the intentions of doing video or capturing pictures, but just to get out, enjoy nature, hike, and just scout it out, uh, looking for great compositions, just taking my time. So I would say, number one, that's probably one of the number one things you should start doing if you want to get into landscape and wilderness photography. Once you find a good composition, do the second thing I learned. The second thing I learned was, well, I took a picture of this particular composition on the first time that I found it, but it just didn't look great. It was okay. There wasn't enough light. Uh, there wasn't any clouds. Here, let me show you. So this is the picture that I originally took. Um, I thought it would be pretty good, but turn, it turned out it was just, I didn't like it. It wasn't a keeper to me. Uh, part of that reason is it's just not enough light. Uh, the light is just plain across the whole scene. Another part of it is the sky is too much. It's just too much open sky. Uh, there's no clouds. It's kind of, kind of dull, kind of, kind of boring uh, in a way. So I thought it looked okay, but it, you know, I think it could get a little better. So after I took the picture, I, you know, I realized that um, it's more than just going out and taking a picture at any time during the day. Plan it, right? So I was probably out, you know, it was the middle of the day or, you know, late in the morning. The light wasn't very good and um, it just wasn't very complimentary. So I had to think about, well, I've got a good composition here. The picture's just not working out though. How can I make it better? And that's the second thing I learned is how to basically plan out the next visit to that location, right? So one of the things I wanted to improve on is I wanted there to be more clouds. The sky was just plain, boring. And I also wanted to be there some, have some difference in light. I was thinking about it and looking at it, and there's a couple of great applications out there that will help you uh, look at a location and determine where the sun is going to hit it, say, like in the mornings or in the evenings, right? So that's what I did. I figured out that the sun in the morning would be hitting this tree from this left side, right? So I was expecting to have some rays of sun hitting this tree from this side, um, and then expecting there'd be a little bit of shadow on this side, maybe some light on the top of these trees. So I, I hoped that that light would make this picture pop a little better, make it uh, look not quite so dull. I also was hoping to catch more clouds. So I basically planned it out. I waited till uh, a good morning where the cloud coverage was not 100%, but there were some, some clouds, right? I forget the exact coverage, but there are applications out there that will help you do that. So that's the second thing I would recommend you learn. First, find a location, scout it out. Don't worry about taking pictures, just find your compositions. And then once you've found those compositions, how can you get them in the best light? And if you got of course sky or anything like that how can you get the sky to have uh, something that's complementary um, for example with the clouds so finally got this tree set up it's uh the clouds aren't just right but i don't think i'm gonna take this shot um, it should be a pretty shot I think that I took a much better shot there. Uh, I realized after taking this shot that there's still some things I don't like about the composition, but compared to the first picture, I, I feel like it's much, much better. So here, let's take a look at it. Here's what I like about it. Here's what I think uh, improved. So you have the uh, old picture here. Again, no light, no clouds. Let's take a look at the new picture. Okay, so here's our new picture. I love the fact that now we have this sunlight. So if you look at this side of the left side of the tree, you'll see there's lots of sunlight there. And on this right side at the top, you'll see sunlight there. And of course it's shady towards the bottom because this tree is blocking 
uh, the sun from hitting the bottom. Again, more sunlight at the top of these trees. Look at the grass here. It's a different shade, more sunlight there compared to the shade here. So it kind of gives it more, in my opinion, gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more pop. And if you look at the sky, beautiful sky. Got tons of clouds, uh, different layers of clouds on both sides of the tree. So I think it turned out much better. There is a few things I didn't like. One of the things I didn't like was uh, it's too crowded. So I like the composition. I love the tree, but the, the woods behind this tree, um, it's too close to the woods in the background. It's not separated from the background. Uh, so it kind of, it, it needs to have more separation from the trees behind it. Um, so while this picture was much better and a great learning experience for me taking it, um, it wasn't quite a, an excellent composition, a great composition. It was much better than before, though. Uh, definitely an improvement. I think we could have got a better shot if we found a way to separate that those background trees from the one in the front. But all in all, I'm, I'm happy with the picture. It's a it's an improvement. That's that's the whole point is we're learning and getting better. So let's check out this next scene. I um, really like the way this one turned out. It also has some surprises um, in it that I wished I would have caught that day. Uh, if you look very closely to the picture I take, you'll see a couple of birds actually sitting in in the picture. I um, I wished I would have noticed that that morning. I would have zoomed in and got a better picture. Uh, with those birds in the composition. Uh, but all in all, not a bad picture. The sun is coming out and I think I found the composition I want. I've got this uh, kind of old tree in the front and another tree right behind it, like halfway up this field. It's beautiful and the sun is just peeking through the clouds, peeking through the clouds. I better grab it. I don't think it's gonna be there. Oh, it's going down. It'll come back. I've got to grab this shot real quick. So again, I'm uh, focused to infinity. I've got an F14 shot. Again, here it comes. There's the sun. All right. I think I got. Uh, I think I got the shot I wanted. Uh, two trees, one in the front, one in the back. I think that's going to turn out pretty good. If not, hey, I'll even show you the the mess I made. I think I also got a good shot of the big tree here. I wish I knew what kind it is. It's, man, it's a beautiful tree. It reminds me of home uh, back in Louisiana. So it's a beautiful morning. I am going to walk down the nature trail, see if I can't get in the forest some, find my good forest pictures. Um, so I'm going to see if I can't look around and find something. Not a bad picture, so I really enjoyed that picture. Have you, uh, were you able to figure out where the birds, where the birds are at? Let me show you, look real close here. It's right there. One, two, three, three birds. I think if I could have got a better picture like this, perhaps, or maybe something like that. Uh, kind of a close-up of the birds, that would have been uh, another great picture. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our venture. Uh, definitely check out our upcoming videos. Again, we're still working out the logistics, but they're getting better and better. I hope you enjoy them. If you like this video, be sure to click like below. And if you haven't subscribed let, yet, click the subscribe button and click the bell for alerts and we'll let you know when our next video comes out. Uh, again, um, thank you for joining. 
We'll see you next time. Bye.